Hi there, we're the Becker family. I'm Jason. Inga. Um, I'm Gemma. <laughs> I'm Isaac. I'm Augusta. This is Bridget and I'm Jan. And this is our call to mission. I believe that our call began back when I was in high school. I heard a missionary give their testimony and he invited us to pray about being foreign missionaries. He had said, if not you, then who? And that resonated deep in my heart and um, never left. I brought that desire into our marriage and uh, asked Jason if he'd be interested in doing foreign missions. He didn't feel particularly called to foreign missions, but he said he was open and willing to try it. So um, we started out our married life uh, seeking foreign missions and uh, aiming towards going. So when our first two, Isaac and Gemma, were just little, we went and did foreign missions for three years. After three years, we returned back home to the States and um, just pursued other things. We felt like at that point, the doors had closed to foreign mission and, uh, and just went about life. I personally felt like the doors had probably closed forever for foreign mission and so I just stuffed that desire deep down and tried not to think about it very much. Um, all the while there was still a discontentment stirring within my heart and um, I just tried not to address it. Even though we had good things surrounding us, good people in our lives, family, friends, even a great faith community, which was very important to us. And uh, all the while, you know, we strived to uh, teach our kids about serving and loving others and looking for opportunities to serve and really struggled to find that. Um, meanwhile, a call was stirring within my husband's heart. Yeah, so when we, as Inga mentioned when we first came back, um, I didn't really think we were going to go back into foreign missions. We got back into our lives, we bought a home. Um, I was working full time and going to graduate school and life was just very full, it was very busy, it was good. Um, we were reestablishing our, our life and friendships. Um, but at some point along that journey, I started to just recognize a restlessness that was growing inside my own heart. You know, I was gone a lot. Um, a lot of nights during the week I was you know, working or at school and um, in my, my time with the Lord and prayer, I just started to realize that something was missing. There's something more that the Lord had for, for me, for Inga and I, and for our family. And, uh, you know, I just would be reading the Bible and certain Bible verses would just really start to speak more to my heart. You know, the, the verse about, um, you know, the rich young man who came to Jesus and said, what, what must I do? You know, what I've done, I followed the law. You know, but Jesus says, just go and sell your things, you know, and come follow me. And um, it started to just really press into my heart, you know, this sense of what would it be like um, as a family to do that? Because I was doing my own thing. I was doing my own work and, 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 and ministry and, and then counseling. And it was all kind of just my, my, my life. And I, and I wanted to have something where it felt more like we together uh, as a family could share in ministry. And so I... At some point after letting this kind of rustle in my heart for, gosh, years, came to Inga and said, Inga, I think we need to pray again about the possibility of going back into foreign missions. I was surprised that it was initiated by Jason, um, just knowing that that earlier in our life hadn't been his call, that it was more my call. And so um, I felt excited, but a little hesitant uh, at, hit, at the invitation again. Uh, so it took us some time to really process, ponder, pray, um, come and visit, continue to pray, get spiritual direction. And then uh, finally, when we said yes and were open to that invitation, is when we were really able to be flooded with peace and joy at this call to mission. Yeah, I remember when we finally made the decision and just the joy that, that we felt and experienced and the intimacy Inga and I experienced together and saying yes to the Lord. Like, He's inviting us. And, and he wasn't forcing us, but he was inviting us and said, you, you know, I'm, I'm wanting you to come do this. Will you come? And uh, it just makes me think of, you know, again, a verse where, where it says, you know, those who leave homes, moms and dads and 
land and jobs for my sake will receive a hundredfold and and inherit eternal life. And I, I just feel like that's where that, that sense of peace and joy is. That this is not an easy calling, but but it's it's, it's really beautiful to know that we are um, in the Lord's will. So we're excited to give our children this gift um, to go into missions, to love and to serve, and um, see what God has for us. So this is our call. We're the Beckers, and this, and this is, is our, our call, call to mission. mission. Yay! <laughs>